Hey everyone, Invader1 here, and guys, I am back with another Platinum video. Now, this is from my niche challenge selection. Um, so you guys know I get requests online and challenges to do fun videos and all that. So, um, I got a challenge to do an all Vorcha team on Platinum. So, what we did is we actually brought an all Platinum team. You know, little Vorcha Platinum team. Now, this is uh, my character, Pink Hotness, and um, you know, this is the old Vorcha squad. It's like a <laughs> little uh, Vorcha Platinum Pink team, whatever you want to call them. Now, the first wave, guys, I, I totally forgot. I'm joking around and playing around with the Vorcha and just making him wail and yell, and you know, it's a lot of fun. I totally forgot to put Bloodlust back on. So, there was a few times on the first wave, actually there was just one time on the first wave that I actually died, I didn't realize that what, what was going on, I'm like, what, what is this? But anyways guys, what we're trying to do here is use no missiles at all, um, and just, you know, use the, uh, the Riggers and, and uh, have an all Rieger, all uh, Vorcha team on Platinum. You see the guys, look, I dropped here and I just didn't realize why, I didn't have my health regeneration back up guys, don't forget. <laughs> Uh, so we're just having a lot of fun making the characters yell and scream, and I, I totally forgot to put my bloodlust back on, so I, I died in wave one, which didn't make any sense to me. But anyways, guys, we had absolutely no trouble with this. This match took not even more than about 24 minutes around there, so it was a really easy platinum, guys. This is versus Reapers. You guys know it's one of the toughest uh, challenges on platinum. But um, we were actually able to do it in 24 minutes, um, and, you know, and with the whole Vorcha team. And uh, what our, our strategy and tactic was here to make sure that we take all the enemies together. Oh, that was funny as crap. I don't know if you guys saw that. The uh, the cannibal just got thrown up into the air. It was funny as hell. But anyways, guys, we had so much freaking fun. We were just laughing it up. I mean, it was, this was just so much damn fun. And... Um, you know, we had a good time. We definitely had a good time. Now, the um, uh, <laughs> again, you know, not not much of a tactic. What we did is in, in, instead of hanging out at the top control room, uh, we decided to hang out by the uh, by the extraction area. You know, to pretty much uh, uh, funnel banshees in together and take them down together like that. You know, we could just flame her and mess her up. Now you see guys here again, now I got my bloodlust back on and my health regeneration is coming back on. <laughs> so I'm actually surviving now. <laughs> Anyways guys, as you, can, as you can see, you know, we did the uh, Vorcha Rieger combo and um, we were just melting banshees guys. We literally did not, um, I think there was only two missiles used and uh, that was because, I don't remember, I, I didn't use any. Um, but one of the guys told me that he used, had to use a missile, I just don't remember. I really don't remember what was the situation, in all honesty. We're just having so much fun. I mean, uh, look what happened here to this Banshee. And I've done this before on, on Gold, guys, but, you know, the challenge was to do it on Platinum. You know, I've definitely done this many, many times on Gold with the old, you know, old Vorcha squad, especially when the Vorcha first came out. And we just had so much fun with them. But, you know, the challenge was to do it on Platinum. You know, use the Vorcha, Riga Carbine, you know, team. And um, it actually turned out to be very, very a lot of fun. And check this out, guys. We, you know, um, we had a few situations where we you know, we actually saved um, you know our team members from utter you know chaos from the banshee by just you know dealing a lot of damage to her. We we never really had too much of a tough time here, guys. I mean, it was just. I, I, absolutely, absolutely insane. The time was excellent. You know, 24 minutes. That's just great. You know, a good platinum run, and we were just just demolishing all the enemies. I mean, as you can see, it, it, even the phantoms. The phantoms came in. The way I have my flame set up is actually um, to damage barriers and shields. So when the phantoms came in, I, I I never even had to use my acolyte. I brought it, but between all of us, it was just <laughs> it was just absolutely insane. Um, and I definitely used. Um, some grenades for you know a situation where we I saw hunters or anything like that. Um, now, guys, for the objectives, well, um, we what we decided to do is just kind of gather together a little bit. You know, oh, here we had a bench and a kick down. It was funny, but um, you know, we decided to kind of you know to, to really just 
ensure that you know we're all using a flames you know flame and regal car uh, carbine together so like that we didn't have to really use any missiles or waste them the only thing guys that that we fear uh, really fear the band it's not the banshees here and it's really not even the hunters or anything like that it's the pyros guys the pyros can demolish i mean look at that i was almost going down my health regeneration stack came back up but you know i was really really just having um you, you're, you'll definitely have a tough time with pyros if they get too close so what you want to do is with the vorture sentinel you want to have at least you know grenades specced in there so that you could at least you just you know pop some grenades or you know just make sure that the team understand what's going on and you're able to um just go right ahead and uh and you know, and just mess up the pyros bef quickly, right before they can even, you know, do any damage to you. So, one thing though about this setup is that if you're running an old Vorcha team, you notice how we're all together. This is not a, I'm gonna go Rambo and, you know, let's just do our thing. When we did certain uh, objectives, like we, uh, we got the the individual hack device uh, uh, objectives later, we actually left 2 on 2 that was fine you know you don't want to leave one person alone um, or you go all together you know that's also totally fine but you definitely as an over team you want to kind of stick together so like that you get the full effect of all the flamers going at the target and at the same time you know the Rieger just messing it up we also use incendiary ammo guys to continue melting through targets and uh, it, was, it was just fun as shit, guys. I mean, we just uh, we just totally demolished every enemy that came at us. And we had so much fun doing it, guys. I mean, I, I can't even begin to tell you. This was one of the most fun games that we've had. Uh, we also had a few other games afterwards. So, guys, I have two more videos that we created tonight. And uh, they were all challenges. Guys, I just, you know, if you guys have any challenges or anything like that, or you want to play with me, and you want to, you know, you have a challenge, but you want... You want to do it with me? You want to, you want to do the challenge with me at the same time? You know, just let me know. But you know, as a matter of fact, the second challenge that I got that we did tonight after this one came from only one Biggs, and he's playing with us right here right now. So he actually, you know, took part in the challenge, you know, that he put forth. Now this challenge didn't come from uh, only one Biggs; it came from somebody else, uh, which I'm not remembering at the moment. But. Um, you know, we completed it, and I wanted to get this done, you know, honestly, I wanted I wanted to get this done, you know, a lot earlier, but we just, I could not get the people, I even posted on the, uh, the viral social network, I, you know, I asked people, hey, do you want to do it, some people say yes, or whatever, but every time I would try to get, get it going, nobody was on, so, you know, we actually, tonight was just perfect timing, you know, we got together, and, uh, <laughs> we have a shit ton of fun, guys. And look, you know, you know, expect that you will go down with the war, uh, with the orchard sometimes. That will happen here and there. But you know, again, with a team like this, you know, if everybody's tightened together, you can continue doing damage because the flame does damage over time. You know, and uh, with with the, with incendiary ammo, guys, again, ammo um, uh, damage over time. This way, you know, you can continue doing tons of damage to the enemy. And, um, and not, you know, even if somebody gets downed, you know, the enemy's still just really getting owned so badly that by, by the time you, you can actually revive your buddy, I mean, your buddy, the, the, the enemy's, or you know, Banshee, or Brute, whatever it is, or Prime, is already just being demolished. And, uh, this is the tactic, guys. You guys have seen me do this tactic before. I have three tactics for this map. This is the one that I prefer the most, which is hanging out by the extraction. We actually, you know, I roam around, especially on gold. On gold, I, I do not I never, like, hang out in a certain area. This is like a fallback point. But when a platinum, you know, this is kind of like a preferred area uh, for me instead of the control room. The control room is okay, but it's usually when you have snipers, you know, you have to, uh, at least two snipers, one on the ledge and, and one by, you know, on the, on the corner of the control room. But, you know, you don't always want to play snipers, you know, you want to play characters like this. When you have characters like this, you hang out by the extraction, you have the, 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 the other lanes um, on the left of my character right now, you see on the left, you know, pink hotness over here. <laughs> he, um, you have places where you can actually go and, and 
and then take cover and hide and you know and fall back. And this is great for the Banshees, guys. You see this tactic, what we do is we actually pull the Banshees back in here so that, that the other enemies are not sniping us and we, we can funnel her in and just focus on her. So like that, we're not getting sniped by the other enemies. And it does happen, you know, it does happen. She will, you know, she does try to do her thing and, and, and try to, you know, do her damage. Like somebody got picked up, you know, it, it, it happens. But look, look at this. Even with just three of us up, you know, we get, you know, we got our health regeneration coming back up. You know, we're covering each other. We know we're going to go down. But look at that. I got up and immediately the enemy that was killing me was already dying. So that was, you know, that was... Again, this is totally fine. Hey, look at these guys. This is what I'm saying. The pyros are the worst. Make sure that you see pyros. Take them down immediately. Immediately. But yeah, you know, this is this was a lot of fun, guys. This is pretty much how it was. This I think this was the toughest part. I mean, this is the one time that it got really hairy. But that's it, guys. That was, that was pretty much it. This entire gameplay was just nothing but shits and giggles and a lot of fun, man. Nothing but laughter, nothing but, you know, just having fun. You know, we did um, object recovery. Uh, I thought that we had a ha uh, individual hack devices on this. I think it's on wave 9. But anyways, um, you know, we got the object recovery. We were having a lot of fun. And you notice my buddy over here is doing a, 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 a regular melee just to move a little faster. You know, honestly, I, don't re I think the only one that probably that really works with is the Krogan. I think with everybody else it's just show like it just looks like they're going faster so but anyways as you can see my buddy's going here you know if, if you have an overture team you definitely want to go two on two or the entire team go together now we did a two on two because we we're a little weak so now this way the uh <laughs> we're just having fun doing crazy melees look at this but um um, again, this is just a funky, funky game, guys. We're just having nothing but fun. And yeah, guys, we have a lot of fun when we play. You know, we, we like to change it up and switch it up. But as you can see, you know, we, you know, we covered each other. Um, the other two guys that were here, that were actually joining enemies there, so that when we were getting the devices, uh, me and only one bigs, we were uh, the enemies were not just focused on us; they were focused on on our teammates. So like that, it was actually easier to, you know, to go through the uh, to to get the uh, uh, objects and recover them. So guys. You know, this was this was a shit ton of fun. Uh, I'm gonna be honest with you, and uh, I'm looking forward to uh, a few of these other uh, uh, challenges that you guys got. Now, this was a lot of fun. Now, the other two challenges that I got, you guys are, are gonna be blown away by the by the stuff that we got done. It's just crazy. We got a challenge with the M55 Argus, but I decided to mix it up and make it fun because you guys know I'm not a fan of the gun. But I, I, you know, I, I figured something out, and I think you guys are going to enjoy that video so much fun. You know, just like this one, guys. So, um, anyways, you know, I, I, I'm gonna, let me tell you a little bit about my build. Um, the way I spec out the uh, the Borgia, Borgia Sentinel. And uh, be, just let you know, the build is at the end of the video, so you guys can definitely look at it. But let me tell you a little bit about my build. So, Bloodlust, the way I set up Bloodlust on rank 4, instead of melee damage... Because I'm not doing a lot of melee with him. If we set up a melee build, that's fine. You know, I set him up more for you know health regeneration. So rank four, I like to choose the bottom health regeneration. So like that, the, the regenera regeneration restack, you know, increased by 50%. So he's constantly healing. Also for rank five, I don't do power damage, even though it's a good one. Like you could do either or. You know, if you want your flamer to be a little bit, you know, more powerful. And that's great, and that you know that's a great one for you since since I want to in this situation to kind of have some weapon damage because he doesn't have the greatest weapon damage. I chose rank five, but I recommend either or. If you want your flamer to be really powerful, which in this situation I probably should have picked power damage, I didn't. But hey, you know it's it's still great. You know either or is great. But again, flamer, power damage, weapon damage, if you know you want definitely want your shotgun or whatever gun you're using to be more powerful. And I wanted the shotgun to be more powerful in this situation. Rank six, always pick health regeneration. I can't even I can't emphasize it even more than this. You gotta pick health regeneration. Movement and melee is nice, but he's already fast. You know, his melee is already powerful. Just pick health regeneration and you constantly, it'll constantly stack. Every time you kill something, your health will continue generating over and over and over, guys. And we were just demolishing everything. So it, Platinum has enough enemies for your health regeneration to do well. Um, gold doesn't. <laughs> gold, if you have an old Orchard team, it works. It's fine. 
but your health regeneration is not going to stack up as much as it would. Like I'm fine with having enough enemies to platinum to, you know, for our health regeneration to continue to move up. For flame, okay, guys, this is actually pretty important. Flamer in rank four, you would think that you would increase the damage. That is good. It is good, but you have to, you know, you have to be really close to the enemy. Sometimes you don't want to be that close. You know, so I, what I do is in rank 4, I go for reach. I want it to increase the range a little bit by 50%. And then on rank 5, I go for damage. That way, you know, I still get more increased damage. Um, and at the same time, I get, you know, my flame goes a little further off. So I don't have to be right in front of the enemy. Especially when Banshees are in front of you. You want to have a little bit of a distance, but you want to be able to damage them. Now, rank 6, this is actually pretty important. If you're not using the Rieger with the Vorcher, which I recommend, hey guys, don't stick to the Rieger, this is just a fun thing, you know, we had a good time, the Rieger works very well with the Vorcher because it works both with the, the gun shoots and the flame works at the same time for whatever reason, don't know why Bioware did it that way, I really have no freaking clue, but, you know, if, if you're not, you know, you're gonna get bored by just using the Rieger, so if you're gonna use any other weapon, the Claymore, or whatever, you wanna use this, I recommend going, f if you're gonna just stick to the Rieger, then go for rank 6 armor damage so like that your flame melts and and just really does am a damage to armor like brutes uh atlases you know um and primes um i personally recommend shield damage if you're not using you know the rieger why because like that you can use your flame to damage shields and you use your weapon to go right ahead and demolish the enemy armor enemy health and etc so i like to use shield damage regardless i always use shield damage even if, you know, even, even if I'm, I have the Regal Carbine. Cluster grenades, I put three points on. I like to have them, at least a few grenades on me. Even to just, you know, just for that random, you'll see here, that random, you know, Geth Hunter that, you know, nobody saw. And then I'm like, you know, I can actually throw a grenade to resurrect my buddy and then, you know, just go right ahead and, and whatever. Now, Fortune Resilience, which is its training, I like to go on rank 4 damage and capacity. So like that, you know, my power damage on the you know, flame is really good, and the weight capacity is, is much higher, as you guys know, and the shotguns, I like to use shotguns with this guy, um, they're very heavy, and you want your, you know, your flame or recharge speed to be higher, so, I recommend damage and capacity in rank 4. On rank 5, power damage again. I like the power damage because again you're increasing the power damage of your flamer. Rank six, I like to go for instead of you could you could reduce the weight of shotguns and assault rifles. That is okay if you're using if you think you're gonna use this guy as a claymore build. The claymore build is nice on on the Vorcha, um, because number one it's, it's the claymore, so you could just do a lot of damage and um, and you know and, and yeah you're gonna have very very slow very low reach reach our speed. I mean very high reach our speed, but. I'm sorry, very low reach speed, but with this it actually help out. Now, if you're thinking of a build like that with heavy weapons, then definitely go for the top shotguns and assault rifle. But I, in this situation, I I usually just use weapon damage. I want to make sure that I have as much weapon damage as possible because I already know his flame is really good, especially when using power amplifier modules. Fitness with this build, you can only go up to rank five. So I just put health and shields on rank four durability and rank five shield recharge. So that's pretty much the way I set up my Vorge's Sentinel. Um, again, if I were to change it up a little bit and use a shotgun with him, like like the uh, like the claimer that's really extremely heavy, then at rank six I would have changed it up. But hey, guys, we actually you know uh, we actually had a rank a level thirteen here, <laughs> so you know we were all level twenties, and uh, we still did great, guys. We still just had a crap ton of fun. Again, guys, look at this. You haven't seen me shoot out one missile. You know we're in wave nine already. This is going really freaking fast. Um, and I don't know what to tell you guys, you know, we, this challenge was just a lot of, uh, it's just freaking awesome. I think we spent half the time just freaking laughing it up and, and <laughs> just demolishing enemies. But what you will see here, guys, is that, you know, even though, you know, normally I like to spec something that'll, you know, kind of mess up phantoms or have a weapon that staggers phantom. And we all brought, like, um, I brought the Acolyte. Um, my other buddies brought the Scorpion. We never needed it. We never needed them because of all the, the flamer power that kid, that, were, that we had here um, with the flamer. It's just that the, the phantoms were just getting absolutely demolished. So we never even brought out our secondary weapons. I mean, I think I switched to my secondary weapon only uh, by mistake. So, uh, guys, in reality, 
um, if you know, doing a setup like this where you're really focusing on your flame and like everybody's just really, you know, just burning every, everything, um, I, I, I think that um, you'll be totally set on platinum and, um, and it'll work out for you. Look, look, look at this, we have a phantom coming. You know, we got the Rieger combo going, her barriers are going down. Even if I didn't have the Rieger, guys, you know, I have my Flamer set up for health and, uh, to, to reduce shields and barriers, to do damage on shields and barriers. And so did everybody else, by the way. I think that, I think except maybe one other guy, I don't know who it was, maybe Siegfried, who had it on armor damage, but that was about it. And here we go, guys. We actually were able to save our buddy again. I think that was only maybe one situation or two situations where somebody actually got insta killed. Like, you know, we <laughs> see the Banshee were actually able to kill her or, or, or have her drop our, our, you know, our buddy over there. So he didn't get insta killed. The Banshee had no choice but to drop him. And that's always fun to see. Every time that you can, you know, save a buddy, you know, from being insta killed, that is just great, you know. And then you just gotta keep on doing damage. In this situation, look, I did a heavy melee, dropped. <laughs> so that was just fun. He is experiencing that right here. There's a lot of that here. You know, it's just all this uh, all this damage going to Banshees, and, and they're just like they, they can't handle it. Even the Geth, they just couldn't handle what we were dishing out. And you know, expect that you will go down. This is why you want to stick all together as a team because expect that you will go down. His he, he's got like almost no shields, guys. And because of that, you know, it's it's just. It, you know, it's insane. I mean, but his health regeneration is good. He's got a high health. But uh, if you're getting hit on Platinum, you're getting hit by a lot of enemies, you know. You do, don't expect that to be your saving grace. So you definitely want to stick together as a team to be able to do this. Now, guys, you know, I apologize, but I'm seeing this now. Wave 10. Uh, I thought we had uh, individual hack devices, but we didn't. We had object recovery. Anyways, I, we just had so much fun. We did quite a few games tonight, and we completed... Uh, two challenges. The third video, we were doing it, but our buddy had to go at last minute, so we just, you know, we decided to go right ahead and just uh, bleed out on wave six, which is something we don't like to do. But you know, he had to go, so I didn't want to. I, I didn't want to finish a video with just two guys um, because uh, then my other buddy had to go too. So, <laughs> but we did. We had a really, really good time. Um, so anyways, um, Wave 10, we got the same thing, Object Recovery. This time, uh, the last one, I did it by myself because, you know, the, the path was clear. And they were, you know, all the enemies were actually focused on the, the rest of the three other guys. So that was okay for them to kind of stick together. And then, um, and then we just finished it off. And I think this is the one time the missile came back. Again, I don't remember because he said that we used missiles, but I just don't remember. The whole goal was to try not to use missiles, but... I think maybe, I don't know, maybe we forgot towards the end. I, I didn't use any, I think there was only two missiles used. I don't know when, I, I haven't seen it at all yet. Um, I, I don't know, maybe you guys can get it out of the video. Um, but I missed it, uh, but they told me that they did use it. I was going to call this video no missiles used, but, you know, they told me that there were two missiles used, so I, I don't know. Um, so anyways, I, you know, it is what it is. Now, when you go to extraction, guys, um, this is the tactic I like to do. Now, when, you know, when it's time to extract, don't, don't hang out by extraction, because that, that'll definitely get over, oh, you'll get overrun. Um, go to the control room, actually, and kind of, you know, with... And make sure that you, know, you have your setup. You have all your watches, You know, pay contest and team. Just um, you know, just just go, just just demolish everything and anything. And the same thing with the banshee. You'll see that the banshees come in, and we just right, we just wail on them. We just mess them up. So um, the reason I like to do this is because we draw the enemies over here, and then when we get to about a minute, uh, no less than 50 seconds, guys. Because takes a bit. You don't know what's going on on the outside when you're in the control room. So, if, if you, you know, when it gets to about a minute, and again, no less than 50 seconds, start, you know, leaving this room and going towards the, uh, to the extraction areas. You notice here, we took a few kills, and I told everybody, hey, let's go. It's already, you know, a minute, um, you know, 50 seconds, and now we're starting to run. You see the Banshee, and we decided to totally ignore her. You know, that's the good thing about the Vorch, and Vorch can sidestep. And it does a really good job. And as you notice, we're just running, running, running. It's already almost 30 something seconds. This is, it takes long. You know, people don't expect it. They think 30 seconds is enough. It's not enough, guys. When you're under control, try to go at least a minute or 50 seconds because you never know what can happen. And if 
you need to use a missile, you need to, you know, whatever, use anything to get to extraction, you know, you definitely got to prepare for that. So a minute is the exact time that you definitely want to stop leaving the control room to go to extraction if you're at, you know, if you're at the control room. So, guys, anyways, this was a shit ton of fun. <laughs> so, enjoy, guys. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. And, um, again, guys, just wait till you guys see the next videos this was a shit ton of fun the other videos that we did were so freaking awesome i'm just excited to, to just cut them for you um i got the other one that i'm going to be cutting soon i don't want to overwhelm you guys so i'll do it you know i do the next one maybe tomorrow and then the third one which is just oh, so much fun the following day so guys this is my build invader one out i already spoke about the build hopefully you enjoyed this video it was a short quick run on platinum with old Vorcha team and uh invader one out and uh, i look forward to hearing your challenge requests your niche challenge requests um for multiplayer and um i look forward to hearing it and please rate comment subscribe guys i enjoy you guys i think you guys are awesome and uh, i hope to get to play with you in the future talk soon